Shalom. Kohlaimla Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakal Kadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh. In the name of His Son and the Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back, at, coming back at you with another lesson entitled Keep My Commandments and Live. So we know that this word provides a protection around those that are faithful and true. Those that have a sense of integrity towards the Most High. Proven despite pain and sickness Despite going through affliction, there's a people on this earth that are amongst the hopeful elect that are being tried and tested, and despite all that, are maintaining faithfulness. Just like a woman that is joined unto her husband, and the Most High says, I am married unto you. So the penalty for committing adultery, spiritual fornication, is death. So this word, in a nutshell, is our marriage contract with the Father through the mediator, Yahweh Shai. So his word is not grievous. It's written for our protection. When you look at the scripture, a woman shall not gad abroad. That is designed to protect our women. Somewhere close to a million people in America go missing every year here in Babylon. Primarily women and children. So when you look at the word, it is a safety precaution, a safety measure. So these are protective measures that have been put in place for our survival. Matter of fact, let's read this. What is an informant and who does an informant serve? Which is the most important question. Informant. Informant. A person who gives information to another. Now, the question is, who does the authorities go to in order to make them an informant? A servant of sin. See? So when you're outside of the Most High's word, you become vulnerable to become a servant of sin by throwing yourself out there. It's like you have a wife. She left you and committed adultery, spiritual fornication, going against the marriage vows. Every pimp use and abuse her all her lovers, and in the case of the Bible, these other lovers are the heathen and Gentile nations, our pimps, for lack of better words. So we become a servant of the devil, that man of sin. Let's go into it further. Remember in the movie Training Day? <laughs> what was Denzel's <clears throat> favorite question? You want to go to jail or you want to go home? Let's see if I can find that. 
You want to go to jail or you want to go home? Where's that at? Let's try this one. Won't let me play it. But anyway, we, we get the point. So when the Bible says, who gave Jacob up for a spoil? That was Israel that rebelled against the Most High's word. So we get the point. Let's go ahead and get it. Let's go here to John chapter 8. Let's go to verse 31. Then said Yehoshai to those Jews which believe on him. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. So this is the brotherhood that can be trusted. That we know are not going to become servants of Esau. That man of sin. And not become a Judas goat. When you apply for a government security clearance, you get rejected if you have a criminal background or significant indebtedness. Why? Because you can be used by adversaries. So even the government understands this. John 8 and 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Let's build on that. So this truth is a safe house. Let's go to Psalms 91. Psalms, look at that, the title. Security of the one who trusts in the Lord. Protection. This is the Most High's protection program. Psalms 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Let's keep going. That's a key one that I want to get here. Let's jump down at his truth right here. Let's go to verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Let's go back to John 8 and 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So when you get seduced or enticed to go off, commit sin, you become a servant of that man of sin, Esau, Edom, the devil. Devil means deceiver, slanderer, or false accuser. Comes from the Greek. Diablos. Let's go back to Psalms 91. Let's jump down to verse 8. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. No evil can come against you when you're dwelling under the shadow of the Almighty. His truth, his word is a shield and buckler, a refuge, which is the house of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's keep going. So who is that? Wait a minute. I'm going too fast. John 8 and 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? 
Yahawashai answered them, Verily I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. So you become a slave to the system, the beast, under Esau Edom. Why you think they make money off you when you commit a crime? You got to pay court costs, legal costs, lawyer fees. You see that? So you become an informant to the system. And you really are walking in the shadow of death because those on the street that know you want to kill you. The police don't like you. Why? Because you have a criminal record. So you become tossed and turned and used and abused. Let's go here. Who is that man of sin? Let's go to Second Thessalonians. Chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So you become Esau Edom's bitch for lack of better words, you serve him because he can exploit your criminal background. They run a background check on you. They arrest you and then let you go. So they own you. See, they own you. He begins to pimp you around. And they showed us in the movie Training Day where Denzel Washington a crooked cop would ask the people that he knew on the streets that had criminal records, you want to go to jail or you want to go home? So you become, you bow down to the face of the serpent. Let's get that. Let's go to Sirach. Not there. Sirach 21 and 2. The book of Sirach, chapter 21, verse 2. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent, for if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion, slaying the souls of men. See, then shall that wicked be revealed the son of perdition, the man of sin. I think we read that, man of sin. Yes, we did. So it's describing Esau, Edom, and on a broader sense, the beast, Rome. So we are living in the revised Roman Empire. This is why the Bible says, mark them, that cause offense contrary to the doctrine, this word. So those that are being marked and separate from them. Let's go ahead and get that. They become informants, servants to Esau, Edom, the devil. Romans 16. Let's go to Romans 16. Romans 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Hamashiach, but their own belly and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple so they serve the devil the beast Esau Edom 
they are bowing down to the face of the serpent, this system. Why you think they keep paying legal fees, court costs, lawyers, only to be released back on the streets? So these are lumps in the leaven, a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. They are walking contrary to the doctrine of this Bible, this word. And they're also teaching false doctrines, telling you it's okay to go off. So if we're joined unto them, we fall with them. Let's go to Romans. See, Romans 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. Through his path, his way, his teachings. Did you see him becoming an informant to the Romans? Absolutely not. So the wages of sin, the wages of sin is death. Matter of fact, let's go to uh, <clears throat> Wisdom of Solomon 3. Let's go to 2. Wisdom of Solomon 2, verse 23. For the Most High created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity, an image of Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High, the word made flesh. Verse 24. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world, and they that do hold of his side do find it. So join unto this military, economic, religious, and political system is being joined unto death, a servant of sin, a servant of the wages of death, a path that leads to destruction, not being pimped out by the wicked. Habakkuk 2, verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. So all these people are getting the wages of sin, which leads to their demise. They are on the payroll of the beast system. Connected to him economically. So they are joined to the beast. That's why I use the, the example of informants. They're not being used by the Most High to, to, to do his will. To keep his commandments. Let's keep going. See, let's go to Proverbs 4. Verse 1, hear ye children the instruction of a father and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. So that's why we went to Romans 16, verse uh, 17. Those that are walking contrary to this doctrine of truth and wisdom. Mark them and avoid them. Verse 3. 
or I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. So Sophia is our mother. Wisdom, sucking from the breast of wisdom, or Sophia, obeying the instruction of our father, the most high. For I was my father's son, tender, and only beloved in the sight of my mother. So when you see that word beloved, it's talking about the elect, beloved. Verse 4, he taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. So this is not following that man of sin, a son of perdition, who is as death and cannot be satisfied. And the wages of sin is death. So this word protects us. And so one of the scriptures I like going to is that a woman should not be a gather abroad. And when you look at how many women are going missing every year, you understand these scriptures are designed to protect. Let's go from there to Deuteronomy 32, verse 35. To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants when he seeth that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left. For our foot sliding in due time is the slippery slope of sin. It leads to a pit of destruction. It leads to captivity. It leads to hell on earth. So we choose life or death. So the vengeance of the Lord is us going into captivity because we broke the marriage vows. And many of us were sentenced to death because of that. That's why we need Yahweh shot. That bug out on Elder Manatha Zox page said, if we were reincarnated, why we need Yahweh shot? Because Yahweh shot is the mediator to bring us back into the covenant, you bug out. Let's go from there. Matter of fact, I wanted to go somewhere else from there. Yeah. Sirach 33, verse 1. There shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord, but in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. Once again, abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. Let's go to Sirach 35, verse 3. To depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to the Lord, and to forsake unrighteousness is a propitiation. Being friends with the Most High, reconcile back unto him, not being pimped out by evil E. So this word is designed to provide a hedge of protection, not to be a burden. That's why Yahweh Shai said, my yoke is light. So dwelling in the safety of his word is sure. It's tried, tested, and proven. But if not, we wind up in captivity, in prison. That's why 
Denzel Washington was asked, you want to go to jail or you want to go home? Let's get that. Let's go to Titus. Where do I want to go? Not Titus. Tobit. Tobit 3, verse 2. O Lord, thou art just, and all thy works and all thy ways are mercy and truth, and thou judgest truly and justly forever. Remember me and look on me. Punish me not for my sins and ignorance and the sins of my fathers who have sinned before thee. For they obey not thy commandments, wherefore thou hast delivered us for a spoil and unto captivity and unto death and for a proverb of reproach to all the nations among whom we are dispersed. See, captivity, servitude, that's jail, prison. That's why Denzel would go to those that are laden with iniquity and say what? You want to go to jail or you want to go home? In that movie, Training Day. So we become a servant of sin, and that man of sin is Esau Edom, which has established a revised Roman Empire, the beast, or the great red dragon. This beast system is his government. Let's go down to verse 5. So remember we read wages of sin is death. That's hell on earth. Captivity. The pit. The grave. Being brought down to the dust of the earth. Confusion. That's why when you read Isaiah chapter 42, who gave Jacob up for a spoil and a prey? They are filled in prison houses. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read that. Didn't want to make this long. Isaiah 42, verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none delivereth. For a spoil, and none saith, Restore. Let's jump down to verse 24. Who gave Jacob for a spoil, and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. So the servant of sin are those that choose death rather than life, serving the system by which had been set up by the Romans, Edomites, bowing down to the face of the serpent. That's why we read, flee from the face of the serpent as from sin. That's Esau, Edom. A serpent seed. Go back to Tobit and we'll close out. Tobit 3, verse 4. For they obeyed not thy commandments, wherefore thou hast delivered us for a spoil and unto captivity and unto death, and for a proverb of reproach to all the nations among whom. We are dispersed, the diaspora, the dispersal of the Israelites, serving our pimps, our enemies that hate us. Verse 5. And now thy judgments are many and true. Deal with me according to my sins and my fathers 
because we have not kept thy commandments, neither have walked in truth before thee. One more. So the commandments equals life. Sin equals death. Let's go to Deuteronomy 8, verse 1. Deuteronomy 8, verse 1. All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers. So the word equals life. Sin or the wages of sin leads to death. Proverbs 7. And we'll close out there. Proverbs 7, verse 1. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live, and my law as the apple of thine eye. So if not, we become servants of the face of the serpent, the great red dragon, the system, the revised Roman Empire, the beast. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakadash, Barakatham. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Keep my commandments and live. Palm Yasharala, and abide, baba, Barakatham. Shalom.